Oh, uh, downtown Macon, I think will be is just in the process of uh, of booming. I've got I've been involved in business and in real estate downtown for over fifty years, and uh, uh, I saw the bottom drop out when the uh, when the uh, old mall opened up in the seventies, and uh, I never thought I would see the resurgence down here right now. I think that. Uh, 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 I mean, it's just incredible what's going on, and I think I think it's just getting started. I, I'm on business on Poplar Street. I, I can't tell you how excited I am about the about the new Capricorn development down at the end of the street, and uh, and the Dannenberg building, and uh, uh, and the Silvers building, or uh, H.L. Green, and all this stuff that's happening, and all the restaurants and venues downtown, and it's just getting started. I mean. Uh, 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 I can just see uh, uh, a lot of office building and a lot of uh, people moving downtown. I, I just think uh, there's no way to stop it now. I don't think. And and I and you know between Mercer and uh, and the Knight Foundation and Newtown, Mike Ford, and now Josh Rogers, and it's just incredible uh, uh, what has happened and the way they've handled it, and tax credits and getting people to come down here. And I think it'll go on for the next few years, if a lot, a lot longer than that, I hope.